Well, here I am on a clover plot, and uh, there's the tree stand right there, but this ain't doing so well, at least the one side of it, and it's just about partitioned. I got the lattice here, or the pig panels for the cucumbers, and I had a trail camera right here, and just, just coincidentally, if you look right down the pipe, uh, no clover loaded with clover so i think what i'm going to do is come here with the plow split it right down the middle and head that way due east and just turn all this and reseed it i mean there's no sense trying to hunt over garbage i mean dandelions and i couldn't even tell you what that other stuff is i mean it's not even timothy it's it's pure garbage so better off turning it under and uh, i can salvage this side here easily with just mowing maintenance and then just have a nice little place to hunt but yeah i think that's what i'm going to do today but first things first i got a little bit of a fuel issue that needs addressed on the 756 so some of you guys already know right away what it is let's go It's been a while since I've cleaned out the sediment bowl on a seven, so it's due. Let's see what's in the bottom of this thing. Eh, at least everything up top looks good. All right, let's strip her on down. It's been a while. Now, well, guess where that's going? Non existent bucket. Ooh. What we got at the bottom of there is some brownie mix. I mean, that's that's some serious cakeage, cakeage of I mean, that ain't good, man. What I need to do is, when I'm done planting and everything, go ahead and pressure wash that tank out and do an inline inline uh, fuel filter because you're going to have all that in your carburetor sooner or later. And that's a fact, Jack. And what I'll do is I'll go get some carb cleaner and spray that out. Yeah, and I took some brake bath and just cleaned it out. I mean, good enough, but it's a short-term fix to take the bowl off and clean it out. The long-term solution is clearly clean the tank out, put an inline filter in this system. Yeah, and the trick to putting these back on is making sure that the gasket is, is on there basically the same way it was or you're gonna leak and leak and leak and leak Hold the ball even, tighten her down. Make sure it's in the center of the of the bowl, so you're not pinching it to one side or the other. I mean, sad truth is I do this a lot more than I care to, considering I have what six or seven gas trackers with the sediment bowls in them, and then when I turn it on. Uh, as it leaks, and it probably will. Yeah, we got good flow coming out of there, two jets. I'll crank her down. Yeah, we're leaking pretty good. I want to get my gloves on. About another turn, and that's going to be good. I've actually over tightened this nut to where it broke the bowl before. Not often, but I've done it. Of course that's gonna leak. Why wouldn't it? Not leaking as bad as it was, so. 
Yeah, I just wipe her down. But that's the only addition I'm gonna do once I'm done planting everything. I'm gonna flush this tank and then put an inline in it. Just to make sure no games are being played with the carburetor. That goes around the back on the other side. Yeah, I can live with that. So if your gas are spitting and sputtering, that's my first go-to, that bowl. So the last time I plowed with this, I dropped it, or raised the, the depth control wheel up pretty high. I had it on uh, five, five holes down, and that worked out perfect as far as leveling. And uh, what, it, what it is, is if you're not gonna use that to level you off in depth, you gotta use the, you gotta adjust the arms. So that's, that's what I plan on doing. So that way that front furrow is level with these back two. Yeah, and that should do it. I just dropped that side of the fast hitch down and you just use these up here. Easy peasy. And if, uh, if I'm still having problems, then I'll go back to the fifth hole and that should work too. Well, usually I'm doing some kind of a grand entrance, but uh, not today. We'll mix it up a little bit. The old pastures growing in wild, the apple blossoms, and we're gonna have a good year this year because, well, no frost. We should have good pears and apples down here. I am thrilled about that. I haven't had pears in two years. Yeah, you can see all that there. I wanna get some more of this plowed up and then uh, get the uh, M out, Farm All M. Maybe we'll do a Farm All Friday with the M ski. But for now, I want to get over here and get this turned in and get it right. May's the month of correction. Yeah, you can see dark to light green. Calling dark to light green. I'm just going to back up to the lattice. Now, do the headlands right there later. But for now, I'm going to turn this under. Yeah, yeah. I think today we'll plow in R4. That should work real well. Beep, beep. Now we'll go fur down for a we'll go we'll go low for. Of course direct drive. Hit that subscribe button. Got a lot of views. And uh, I think a lot of people at least a few of you have told me, well, I watch you on my big screen. I can't hit subscribe. Well, log into your phone and hit it. It matters for the channel. It really does. All right, well, let's dive her down and get rolling. Yeah, well, you can see that back row's going the deepest, and then the front was hardly going in at all. I need to raise this side up or drop that wheel down one of the two. I think the easier thing to do is to raise this up. Yeah. Yeah. See what that looks like. Uh, I don't think there's any way around it. So I've raised that up almost as high as it'll go. I got that as low as almost it'll go. I don't know. Let me pull it and see what it does. Yeah, it's a little better, not perfect. Well, I still wasn't turning even, even with the adjustment of the arms. So I dropped this back down to the five hole. One, two, three, four, five. And that's going to even me out. But now I may have to readjust those again. So we'll see. Yeah, and right along this wood edge is where I picked up all those sticks and debris, so to speak. So now I'm going to turn it in. And that way we can come back on it. Yeah, I'm happier with that. Got to keep these edges turned in. Uh, if you didn't see last year, this was just a jungle and I took the farm all 400 cleared it and it worked 
like a dream. definitely noticed a difference with the front weights on there it it, it changes the draft and how the how the plow actually sucks down it plows better much much better and uh, I got a wet spot right there but I'm still gonna go through I've definitely decided it's the five hole for the depth and these need to both be even and they're not right now but either way Looking good. Oh, there's a wet spot here, man. 